I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. Check us out on OldSchoolNerd.com. It's got all of our social media posts. The Patreon link for those who want to support the channel. We appreciate every single one of you and the merchandise store. Okay, it's Dagobah. But Dagobah is my first napalm reaction that I'm doing with my 3D napalm box. And for those who don't know where that thing came from, check out the video just before this one. Uh, my buddy Jason S. Uh, from Jason's Creations Unlimited in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, custom fabricated my napalm box. So I don't have to put the little logo up there, I can just put that up there for napalm reactions. So my first one with the new box is Digabot, their new song City Lights. Now, this new album is completely blowing people away because everyone is just, when people think of Gojira, right? Just historically, we're always like this. That's what people think of when they think of Dagobah, the wall of death. It's kind of, they do some of the best in the business, but this new album is a complete departure from anything you think about when it comes to metal. The guys from France, Shaw and the other guys, they got together in the studio during this lockdown period, the last two years, and they just let the creative thoughts just flow out. Uh, the first song, it was kind of, normal not that Dagobah's ever been normal but it's kind of just what you expected then they started taking these left hand and right hand turns then there was a wolf then there was a female vocalist we've never seen before and then <laughs> what's coming up next so when you see the name of the next song city lights you start thinking well are they going to go full journey on this and do lights go down in the city could it be a mellow tune we don't know that's the best part about the new Dagobah album, is you just don't know. You never know what they're going to bring out, so I'm really excited about this. Let's do this together. It's going to be Dagobah. City Lights, old school nerd reaction. Shaw messaged me last week, and he's like, are you ready? And I'm like, yes, let's go. And he's like, okay. <laughs> it's because it's Shaw. All right, let's go. Mine's better. <laughs> nice classic Mustang. A lot more keys. Um, and we're gonna first verse first chorus are through don't worry we're gonna come back and uh i'm not gonna miss out any part of that second verse coming in um four on the floor it just it's just a classic rock feel to it uh not as metal um it's got more of that arena rock feel to it classic rock stuff too um which i get um a lot of americana re uh, references 
uh, classic Mustang driving through city lights at night. It's a classic Americana feel. I don't know how uh, how that translates into Europe as much. Uh, I don't I don't think the classic road trip feel is as European as it is in the United States. The United States is just a it's it's Amer we call it Americana. It's just that classic thing that you do. Um, I, I know that uh, Europe is not as expansive. You know, it's not as spread out as the U.S. is. So you don't really have uh, these long. I mean, they call them grand tours. In Europe, um, that's where the term GT comes from. So if he's driving a Ford Mustang GT, it makes sense. Um, it's just a classic metal feel, kind of a more hard rock feel. Now, if you're going to play a song like this, you're going to have to come to America and play it. I'm throwing the gauntlet down, guys. Get out here. Uh, just saying. Um, it, it's not your typical Dagobah song. As elaborate and as phased and constantly evolving as the last song was i mean even the intro of a female vocalist this one seems very like i said four on the floor one two three four one two three four it's just just a standard rock count however the use of the synthesizers the pads to really bring in a lot of emotion into it that hype feel I don't want to say or claim it's going to be a certain way because Dagobah has a tendency to shift gears, especially on this new album, out of nowhere. So we're going to start at the second verse. Let's see what they do. If they don't change anything, I probably won't comment. But if they change something, I may have an emotional reaction. Just saying. There's that moon again. Where's my wolf? <laughs> there it is. Starting to uh, really feel the whole theming of the album together like this. I really enjoyed that. As chaotic as the first two songs of this album have been, this one was not. And I'm not hating that, okay? The first song was this intensity with a little bit of electronic in it, but it had this very heavy feel to it. Um, it had a very, um, how do you say, cyberpunk feel 
with a little bit of fast and furious energy to it with the the the, the wolf and the moon and everything the second release with the unknown un uh with not the unknown but the uncredited female vocalist was very intimate okay so we've got complex hyped out then we have intimate but it was varying constantly on the last one this one was kind of just a four in the floor good rock song which you're gonna have to have um I, I will say that I almost expected this one to have a little bit more um, dynamic in it. And then as I got to the end of it, I'm like, you know what? That's not what the song needed. I like it the way it is. It's just straight, straight four on the floor, hard rock stuff. And you're going to need that because after talking to Shaw in our interview, he talked about how much emotion how much thought process and storytelling went into this album. Sometimes different stories are told throughout an album. This story is just about getting on the, getting on the road and just tearing down the highway. And that's not complex. That's as basic as it gets. So in, in, a, in a live show context, I could see all these different songs and going, you know, uh, dynamic and changing it up and switching it up but if you don't have a song that everyone in the crowd can just put their arms up and go through the whole time it will be a, it's one thing that I can say and I, I want to use another Rush reference because um, Rush did this a lot and it was something that I loved because um, I've seen Rush so many times and Rush did this thing where you could go to Rush concerts and they would have their new album and it would be conceptual and it'd be dynamic and it would be all elaborate and complex because that's what Rush was. But no matter what the song, no matter what the concert you went to, there was always three songs, you know, whether you be, you know, Working Man, Tom Sawyer, right? You always had the ones that everyone, it, they weren't complex. They were just straightforward. And you needed that to re-anchor to the group. So I like this song. This is also a good song for the road. It's a good travel song. It's not as elaborate and it appeals to people. I think one of the things that Dig is doing is they're telling these stories in this album in different forms, different formats. The first song appealed to the complexity of musicianship in me. The second song appealed to Chelsea and my girls because there was this dynamic with a female vocalist and it just connected in an emotional sense and my kids love that one. This one just reminds me of my dad, reminds me of my cousins, you know, getting on the road, long road trips and just that, that 80s and 90s rock feel. Okay, so Dagobah isn't just telling one story on this album, they're telling you a bunch of different short stories for everybody. And I kind of dig it. All right, thank you very much guys. That was Shaw and the guys from Dagobah from Napalm Records, um, another great one. This one was called City Lights, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.